Great work. Back to your small ring on the front and 17 on the back for one minute. Then we'll start the next false flag. Come on, keep it going, keep it going, let's go, let's go. All right, sit back down. Okay, last change. Big ring on the front, 12 on the back, and three, two, one. Change it up. One minute and we're over the top. Don't stop now. Push, push, push. Keep it going. Come on, come on. You can do it. There it is. There's the top and the aid station. 30 seconds. Last push. Come on, you can do it. Go, go, go. Come on, stand up. Let's go, let's go. Okay, sit back down. Change down your small ring on the front and 15 on the back. Way to go, great effort. Spin easy for the next three minutes. Now we're on the downside of Yellow Lake. Let's talk a bit about the road ahead. You'll hear a lot of people tell you that it's downhill from here to the finish in Penticton. That is not actually fact. There are a couple of medium hills to get over on the way. So even though there are some very steep descents, we'll still have some pedaling to do to get to the bike to run transition on Lakeshore Drive. Now we're going to take you down the back side of Yellow Lakes, then turn right onto Highway 97 for the run into Penticton. Then the final stretch back down Main Street to the bike run transition on Okanagan Lake. Since a good part of the next 20 minutes is downhill, we're going to do a number of spin exercises to get you back to town. The first set will consist of three five minute reps. These will be in small ring and a gearing of your choice. We are trying to achieve a cadence of over 90 RPM. So if the gear you choose is too big, back down the cog set until your cadence is up over 90.
one minute, we're going to start the first of two five minute high RPM reps. Small ring on the front and a gearing of your choice that is going to achieve a high spin on the back. 